What's up guys, Luna here. Welcome back to this episode 249 of brand new console mods for Skyrim Special Edition, our daily mod video for the game. If you like this one, please leave a comment, any comment, I very much appreciate it, and then we can jump into mod number one. Our first mod of the day is called I'll Shout, and the mod adds in a new activator beside the Western Watchtower. That, when you activate it, will simply allow you guys to instantly learn all the shouts, free of charge from Dragon Souls. Now, it's not the world's most immersive mod, but I guess no cheap mods are, and not everyone is bothered by that fact. Keep in mind though that learning shouts will break some quests in game, i.e. ones that you have to learn shouts as part of the quest from the word walls, so not a problem on an Xbox because you can add and remove shouts easily in the cheat room, but on PlayStation 4 it's more difficult, so make sure to make a backup save if you install this one. Next up we have a mod called Camp Varglia. Camp Varglia is the follow up mod to the previously released mod Camp Argentum. Argentum added an Imperial military camp and now this mod author is adding a similar Stormcloak one to the game. The camp is inhabited by 12 NPCs, all of them have suitable army roles. There are mostly regular soldiers as in one handed but also officers who are two handed and there's a couple of mages and archers in there as well. All the soldiers in the camp have personal files which are readable in the files cabinet in the commander's tent which is its own interior cell. All the NPCs are recruitable as followers and as the commander you are tasked with taking taking command of the garrison and making this wolf pack into an effective fighting force in the region. Our next mod is actually a couple of similar mods from the same author. So we have Dark X's unrestricted enchanting, but also Dark X's bulk crafting. So the first mod will remove any restrictions you have on your enchanting in game, so you can add the same enchantments to the weapons and gear. So by that I mean usually if you place an enchantment on something, you can't add a second enchantment that's similar. So essentially if you add one, it restricts certain other ones. Also if you have one enchantment on one piece of gear, it can also restrict other pieces of gear's enchantments as well. But this mod allows me, for example, to equip Magicka, Stamina and Health Regeneration to every single item I have, so it's a pretty decent mod. The bulk crafting adds the game recipes at the forge, allowing you to bulk craft some items such as arrows and metal ingots. Both mods are fairly simple, but useful for some people. Our next mod of the day is called the Dunmary Great House Robes, and this is an awesome lore friendly mod. So what does it actually do? Well, it adds in new Dunmer inspired clothes, but they are supposed to be very high quality, like clothing worn by nobility and stuff like that. The clothes are made using the vanilla mesh and textures of the Telvanni robes, and high res photos of real fabrics from the internet such as silk, damask and velvet, and this is to give the look and feel of rich well to do houses, as in their days of glory. Also it adds house symbols on the clothes as well, which is a nice touch. For stats, the items are all clothing, so don't have an armor rating, but you can craft armored versions if you want to, and that way you can get any armor perk bonuses if you equip the armors. If you don't want to craft this stuff, chests of the new outfits can be found in the College of Winterhold, the Retching Netch in Raven's Rock, and Dragon's Reach. Our upcoming mod of the day is a new follower. This mod adds a standalone follower based on the Game of Thrones character Daenerys Stormborn. Now, since this is just an upcoming mod, I don't want to give away too much, so that way we can review it in more detail when it's out for console. But for abilities, she does have stuff that makes her like her character in the show. For example, she is completely immune to fire damage, and there's a bunch of other stuff as well which I won't mention. She comes with a custom outfit, which is the Ashara's Princess of the Woods armor, but altered to the blue colour, and she comes with all custom assets and 4k textures. So an awesome looking mod, I can't wait to try it out as there are plenty more stuff to go over for this one, but we will keep that for when we do a full review. Our final mod is the Hell Yarchin Pool and Hot Bath mod. We did look at this one in a previous video as an upcoming mod, like we just did with the previous mod, but it's released fully on Xbox One now and we can take a look. This mod alters Heliarchan Hall and adds in a whole bunch of new cool stuff to it. You don't even have to build the house first to access the pool and the other features, it's compatible and will add the new stuff to the existing house if already built, but I don't have this one built so you can see it better. For features, besides the regular stuff in the house, if you have it, the mod includes the following. A heated pool and bathtub with auto strip and also a re-equip and this is for your followers and other NPCs. Idle markers for NPCs, an outdoor kitchen and dining area, 30 plantable plots, whether you're farming for produce or more alchemy supplies, alchemy and enchanting workstations inside of the northern greenhouse, a cooking spit and food storage, dining area for two, functional heat and water controls for the tub and pool, archery range and dummies for combat practice, apiaries to harvest honey, a sauna shack, perimeter wall and lighting which can be enabled or disabled according to your needs, and I have them enabled which is pretty cool, proper ambient lighting, and finally it's all Frostfall compatible if you have campfire mod installed. 
Overall, this is an awesome player home. It's not very lore friendly, you know, or immersive since it has a modern day looking swimming pool, but I still really like it and I think it's worth adding this extension to your hardware home in the game. So guys, that's it for today's Skyrim mod video. If you happen to enjoy it and find it useful, leave a like and comment. Plus, if you haven't done so, subscribe and turn on notifications to see mod videos every single day as soon as they come out. And with that being said, stay awesome and I will see you all again tomorrow with more mods.